Good morning, Discovery Kids. My name is Namita. We are tending through the walking series, and I know so far you've learned about walking in love, walking in truth, and walking in wisdom. So today we are going to learn about walking in faith. Before we begin, let's say a word of prayer. God, help us to walk in faith, no matter whatever happens. Help us, Lord. Amen. So, we know that it's been told that the believers live by faith. And the Bible tells us that we as believers, we live by faith. So, the um, Bible defines faith as, uh, if we read Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, it says, Faith is confidence that what we hope for, for what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So the Bible is telling us that faith is something that we cannot, it, it's the hope for the unseen which we cannot see. And uh, what we can't see, what exists. So when I say what we can't see but exist, uh, what, what comes in your mind? What do you think that what it is? What could it be? Um, for me, in my mind, it comes, it's the wind that blows, it's the gravity, it's the air we inhale. This is all unseen, but the evidence is there, and it is there. So how can others say when they see us that we are believers? So let's see what Jesus says about it. So Jesus in Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 says, Nothing, nothing would be impossible, have faith even as a small as mustard seed. So all those who believe, if they have faith, even as small as a mustard seed, for them nothing is possible. I don't know if you, many of you have seen the mustard seed, but I have the mustard seed here. And you can see how tiny, tiny it is. It's the tiniest of the seeds. But Jesus is telling us that if we have that faith, even the size of the mustard seed, we can turn impossible to possible. And you must have heard many stories from Bible about the faith heroes, the, the, the people who are considered to be incredible in their faith, like Moses, Abraham, David, Jesus, Paul, and there are many more. But today we are going to focus on Noah. So you all know that Noah was a man who lived with, who was righteous in the eyes of the Lord. And God had favor upon him. And God told him to make an ark because he is going to send flood. He's going to flood the whole earth. And Noah did not knew that this is going to happen, but he believed because he had faith in the Lord. So he believed and he made that ark. He had the holy fear of the Lord. Uh, his faith was in the Lord. And he began to build the ark. That the, if the flood was unimentable, but he still believed and he made the ark. And we can see, the Bible tells us that when the flood came, Noah and his family were safe in, the, in, in that boat or in that ark. And God also commanded him to bring, bring the animals with him. And they all were safe as well. So we can see that through, Neha, through, through Noah's obedience, God helped all of us. It was benefit to the whole earth, to the whole humankind, that we all were saved through Noah. So it could be, it could have been a really, um, you know, challenging and overwhelming situation for Noah, and he could have said no, or he could have just turned away from the Lord. But he had faith. He believed that what God is saying, He is going to do that. Because that's what our faith is. That's what our hope is into unseen. And we, um, when we read in Genesis chapter um, Genesis chapter eleven, uh, sorry, Genesis chapter nine, verses um, nine to eleven, it says, "I hereby confirm my covenant with you and your descendants, and with all the animals that were on the boat with you, the birds." the livestock and all the wild animals, every living creature on earth. 
Yes, I am confirming my covenant, covenant with you. Never again will flood waters kill all living creatures. Never again will flood destroy the earth. So this was God's promise. This was God's covenant with Noah, which he has still abided by. And he still follows it. He still looks on to that promise that he will never destroy the earth the way he did in the past. And we could see that how how big task it was for Noah to build that ark. When we read about the measurements that the God gave him um, to build that ark, we can see that he said um, to make an enormous, uh, an enormous ark, which was 450 feet long, uh, that's around 90 feet longer than a football track field. And then he said, uh, built almost as wide as an um, as an eight-story building, so he 90 feet wide. That is like um, a, a eight-story building. And then he said 45 feet tall, which is almost as tall as two flat posts. Um, this all could, this all um, Noah did because he believed in the Lord. He had faith in the Lord, and he knew that by doing this, he is obedient to Lord. Um, if we see in Second Corinthians chapter five verse seven, it says, "For we live by faith, not by seeing." So when I when I read this verse that we live by faith and not by seeing, um, something come came to my mind. It's a little story going back when I was same age as you guys, and I always struggled um, with my maths, and I was really weak in maths, so. Uh, I used to struggle in doing the doing the sums or you know doing the tables, um, and and some, sometimes I did fail in math as well in the tests you know. So um, I was listening to one of these preacher who said that uh, every time when he had struggle with anything, he just prayed. He just uh, said to the Lord, Lord help me, uh, because um, he believed he had faith. And that's how I um, I started believing in faith, and I started living with faith, and I started praying to the Lord. And every time when I sat to do my math exercise, I would say, Lord, you help me, and you you may, you help me to do this exercise. And I when I started doing that, gradually I improved in math, and I started getting good marks in it because I hope I had that hope that God will help me and that he will guide me. So this is my little story where I lived by faith and I saw it happening in, in my coming future. So this is my prayer for all of you today, that uh, that you uh, stick to the God promises of the Lord, that the promise that God gives you, it will come and God will fulfill it. Um, also, um, when we when the thing seems not as the way we want them, still we need to be faithful to the Lord. We need to walk with Him. This this whole series was walking in wisdom, walking in love, walking in truth, and walking in faith. And today I want to encourage you all, um, all kids out there in Discovery Kids, whom we all love, that um, yes, you can grow in your faith uh, by praying, by reading Lord's Word by leading others and by guiding people that you are his living you are his the, the children of living god and god will help you and god will always guide, guide you he will never forsake you and never leave you and so um i um uh, i just uh, want to encourage you that um, maybe if you can make a little um, little poster or uh, take a little wooden plaque and you can just write on it live by faith and put it in your room as a reminder that every time any situation you are in or any uh, trouble you are in and you think that nothing is going as you wanted it to go it's going all opposite just look on to that uh, and god will strengthen you he will make you to live by faith he will he will help you to grow in faith and this is my encouragement for all you kids out there. Um, and I, I, I strongly believe um, that God will help you to grow in all these, all these four um, 
elements that we did for last four weeks and he will he, he will give you give you his wisdom his love his truth and faith and will help you and lead you just not to lead you but lead others in walking with god with jesus so we'll end today with this um this um little um short message and i hope you all are encouraged and uh, i hope you all uh, stay safe so let's pray jesus lord we believe in you through faith we trust your plan and ask you to help us amen so this is my prayer for you um stay safe god bless you